Hey, what's going on everyone? Josh Quinones here, here at CES day two. Look at this, got the big sign right here in back of us. And today we are at the Venetian Hotel. Got a whole lot of other cool stuff um, from yesterday. You know, there's a whole lot of other cool stuff here at the Venetian. So today we're gonna be checking that out. Got my wife here with me today once again. And I'm really looking forward to see uh, what we have going on because it's supposed to be stuff that's a lot different from what we saw at the actual uh, convention center. Like I said, I'll be vlogging my whole day on the Google Pixel 7 Pro, and y'all can let me know what you think down in the comment sections below, but let's go and get this day started. <laughs> he loves hugs. <laughs> Gotta get a hug. <laughs> So we've seen some, you know, pretty interesting stuff so far, but my favorite so far has to be this Gobe setup right here. If you know me, I use Gobe lights for everything in my home. Uh, if you watch my videos, my background lights are uh, Gobe smart lights. I got the lights in back of my TVs. I had some back in my car. I got Gobe lights all over the house. And even their smart switches as well, or their smart plugs as well. They work really, really good. So this is actually their setup right here. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour because they got some really cool stuff going on here. So this right here is just actually just like a, you know, an outside seating area just to hang out and stuff. Got a couple of their lights up there. Of course, Gobe branding up there, but let's go ahead and take a look inside. It's freaking awesome. They were just showing us uh, their curtain lights that you can actually customize to do whatever you want them to do. I actually, I didn't get a chance to get it on video because I was just so into them showing us uh, how these lights work, but the curtain lights are really, really cool through their app. Oh, I think she's doing it right now. She's showing somebody else how you can customize them to do whatever you want. Very, very cool. And then of course, you know, they got their lights going on everywhere else in here. Really cool bedroom setup. They got a bed right here to kind of show Hello. how it would look. That looks freaking awesome. They got this up here on the wall. Honestly, I wouldn't mind my bedroom looking like this. Really, really cool. Let's go ahead and go into the next room over here. So in here is, I'm not gonna lie, I want my office to look like this. If I do a whole office remodeling, I'm definitely going in like this. So I'm actually gonna do a separate video on these lights here. These are their new gaming lights and it actually works with the HDMI box that hooks up to your monitor and these lights will do whatever your game does. So it's kind of like their TV lights, which I have uh, reviewed before where it shows uh, the camera facing the TV and the colors just kind of change with the screen. But these are a little bit different and it actually learns the way you play your game and you can customize them however you want. So if you happen to die, the lights will do what you want them to do, you know, if you die in a game or if you're shooting or anything like that. But very, very cool. And the, it hooks up to these two side lights right here and a strip in the back, or you can do it with the hexagon lights up here and pretty much anything else that they have in this room. So very, very cool setup they have here. Like I said, I'll do a, a full separate video on that as well. And then coming outside, we got more of their lighting set up here looking really, really cool. I kind of showed this a little earlier. It's really cool to just walk in here. You look up, it's like they got more. Look, it's just going on forever. Look at that. You can even make it look like you have a thunderstorm going on. I've actually, you know, seen stuff like this online, but it's just always really, really cool to do it. It actually looks really cool in person. I've never seen something like this in person. This would be cool for an office setup to make it look like you got like lightning going on on your ceiling. And then this is the lights I was talking about earlier where the camera is facing the TV screen. So the lights change with the scenery. Look how cool that is. And then paired up with their new lights right here on the side. Very, very cool. As you can see, Gobi definitely has some really cool stuff going on here. I know my wife's amazed by some of these lights here. <laughs> Which one did you like the best out of all these lights? The curtain lights. The curtain like lights. Those were really, as soon as we walked in, we're like, we gotta get some for our room or even our daughter's room. She would love those, but definitely a lot of cool stuff to get here. Um, maybe I'll post a link to some of the stuff that I use down in the description below in case you do want to check them out. And a lot of these lights you're able to customize actually with your smartphone. They have their Gobe app and you can pretty much customize them to do whatever you want. And you know, by the way, now that we're talking about smartphones, I gotta take this time to give a huge thanks and shout out to the sponsors of this video. Y'all already know 
D brand huge thanks and shout out to them I'll try to keep it nice and simple like yesterday if you're looking for a case that's gonna protect your phone if you had you know happen to accidentally drop it which has been proven by my drop test plenty of my drop tests here on the channel you want to pick up their D brand rip case not only will it protect your device but it's gonna add some style as well being able to you know change up the skins once you get tired of a skin hey you can swap in another one instead of having to buy you know multiple cases just to change up the look of your phone and keep it protected you don't have to do that you can stay with one case and just change up the look by switching up the skin so huge thanks and shout out to dbrand check them out in the description below we got joshua Vergar in his natural habitat what's up what's, up? <laughs> what's, what's going, going on? on man i just had to get you in the vlog because you know when do you ever oh. get both joshes in the same video for sure for this sure this one right here <laughs> you, got, you caught me in the middle of getting all of my b-roll i saw that right now i was like that's josh i gotta get him in the video <laughs> how do you like to see you guys so far pretty good so far it feel why does it feel like it's still like 70 80 percent capacity it does right that's right? what we were just talking about the not too long ago it's a good thing were you safer, here last year safer i was here last year yeah wasn't that a trip yeah and lg it was like totally just yeah. nothing nothing yeah. there but now everyone's here well not everyone 70 percent <laughs> but overall it's a good show yeah yeah overall doing all right all right so why why we here is about to test out this this vacuum. They said this is their top of the line. We're here at the Tanico booth. Putting all this stuff on the floor. They're gonna show us how good this works. So let's see what happens. Look at that. Nice and clean. Oh man, I think this is a bad idea. We came to a bad spot. Now she's over there trying out another vacuum and I'm just kind of stuck over here watching. She already tried out their top of the line one. Now she's trying out a different one that she's seen online that she's actually been wanting for a while now. Uh, yeah, I think this was a bad idea. So we were at that vacuum booth forever. What do you think? What do you think? I, I loved it. I want one. She Thank really wants the way. Look at all this other stuff we got here. We got the ring booth back there. We're probably gonna go check that out. We got tons of other booths here. So let's keep exploring. So we're in here checking out this, what they call a tiny home. Whoa, look at this restroom. Feels like a, res that's like a resort style bathroom right here. <laughs> Comes with a full master bedroom. You can fit what looks like maybe a queen size bed. So we were just out there and then we saw what looked like an RV, but they call this a tiny home. Look, you even got a patio outside. Let me check out this patio area. Look at this, and the, the sizing is actually pretty good. You can fit like a few chairs out here, maybe sit down, enjoy yourself. It's really, this would be really cool to like go camping in or something. All right, so there's the restroom again. Let's go into so what, what seems to be, what is this, a kitchen area? Yeah, a kitchen area. All right, so that was pretty freaking awesome. They call it the mini home, and it almost looks like a, as you can see, it looks like kind of like an RV, I guess. That you and I don't know, can you drive this thing? I don't think you can drive it. I don't know, but they're calling it a tiny home and it is electric. They got a little plug in there that looks like would be something for like an electric car, but she loves it. I think they said it would be more than a house. More than a house. But it's really cool and it looks like something that you could take traveling with you. So if you're someone who likes to go camping a lot, maybe you want to travel the world, I don't know. I'm sure, pretty sure you can pull this along with you, but very, very cool. And I think once the kids are all grown up and out of the house, maybe, maybe we'll get one for ourselves. That'd be nice. And go travel the world. <laughs> So we have found our way back at the Las Vegas Convention Center. We are no longer at the Venetian. Although we did see, we actually saw quite a lot of uh, uh, cool things there uh, compared to yesterday. So it was really cool to experience that over there, but uh, we're kind of done over there. And I know there was still a lot that we haven't seen here yet at the actual convention center. So we found our way back over here to see if there's anything we might have missed out on. I know I still have a few videos to shoot on a couple of products here. But yeah, we're back here at the convention center. Boom, we got the big CES sign back there. And uh, we'll see what else, uh, what other cool stuff we can find. All 
All right, so check this out. There's actually a whole nother section here at the TC Outwood that I just happened to miss out on yesterday. I missed the whole NFL section. Yesterday, I actually had some professional NFL players here in the spot taking pictures, talking with people. I kind of missed out on that, but the setup right here actually looks really, really cool. So I didn't even notice that they had this whole extra side right here because I was like, I was way down there where the TVs were and all that, but here they have all their, their home section and all that. And, very, very cool setup here. This looks pretty cool right here. <laughs> Glowing little little cubes. Oh, look at the changing colors. What a day. It has finally come to an end. We are exhausted. I know my wife is exhausted. I'm exhausted. Uh, we just got done with a meeting. A certain company that I actually just landed, kind of landed a deal with uh, to start working with. So uh, really excited to start working with them here on the channel. Y'all will see it real soon who I'm talking about. But um, yeah, we're ready in the night. We're trying to find somewhere to eat because we are starving. We haven't really eaten all day. And uh, yeah, we're gonna end the night here. It's the last day in Vegas for us. We go back home tomorrow morning. So uh, taking this night to say goodbye to Vegas and uh, goodbye to CES. <laughs> Whoa, getting on the escalator here. But uh, y'all let me know what you think about the video down in the comment section below. Thank y'all so very much for watching and sharing our CES experience with us. My wife's the very first time to CES. I think she said she wants to go next year too, so. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll see you guys at CES next year. But thanks for watching. If you did like the video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. Thanks for watching. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you on the next one. Peace.